Hello and welcome to the APS4 video tutorial. In this photo studio, light is coming from the underneath and by reflecting in this pyramidal structure, light is completely diffused around the box. This is very important because we can rotate a camera around the jewel and we have the sensation that the jewel is moving like floating in the air when it is completely still. By the use of this software, we can rotate by 90 degree this live view and what we can see is that the ring is standing up while it's actually laying down on the floor. Here it is. Once we find the position we much more like, um, we do rotate the camera on its own axis in order to find the best angle. Okay, here it is. Now we are going to move the focusing point over the desired image part. Here it is. What we see here, there is a black reflection on the um, bottom left side of the, of the ring in this case. This is, the, this is due by the opening of the studio. So we close the cover and we reduce it very much. We open the flash and we take the picture picture is sent automatically to the PC in a few seconds. It's coming up. Here it is. We move this frame over the desired image part. Okay, right mouse click, crop selection. Okay, we go to equalize and we adjust the white tones. There is no peak here. The dark tones uh, acceptable values are from 0 and to 15 uh, medium tones contrast one point and no saturation zero okay so what we get by applying and we enlarge the, uh, the image what we get here is a high resolution picture for the 80 megapixel of this camera a completely white background picture as we can check by moving the cursor over uh, the white part of the image, we realize in the bottom there, is, uh, there are three values, red, green and blue values, and they are 255, 255, 255 everywhere in the picture. That means that we got the absolute white picture. And the most important thing, this is a one-to-one -one actual size picture. I mean, uh, if you're going to print this on paper, we print it at the actual size. If we go to properties, we see that this, is, this case is 30 by 40 millimeters. And that's the frame that we have been selected here, the mask, 30 by 40 millimeters. And that was the frame that was proposed as soon as I took the shot. This picture can be saved as a common graphic file. Most common graphic file formats are supported, of course. Here it is. Can also be saved for the web. In this case, we, are, we can select the, the web formats in pixel that we want to use, and the software is going to add a vertical or horizontal white band to uh, adjust the size that we choose. And we can also save this as a new model. In this case, the newly taken shot is proposed in this window here on the right side, along with the used mask 30 by 40 millimeters. Uh, we may provide a model code, uh, a barcode, description in any language, as well as metal title weights, carats, prices, notes, tags, categories. So any commercial information for your jewels, as you can see from these samples. Here it is. Um, we can choose to print labels, warranty certificates for a single item or more simply to generate catalogs pages. So we click on catalogs, we choose the page setting for ring max in this case, we find us up on a 30 by 40 millimeters mask. We may provide some initial filters, we leave them blank so we get everything and what we got here is a selection of rings in this case of course we put them all on the right side on the print area you could put one by one we can sort item up or down depending on our needs and 
we go to we could save the selection to open it later on so uh, just clicking on print what we got here is a A4 page with your company logo and uh, data on the top and all the items on the page those items are uh, 30 by 40 millimeters that means that this is a modular uh, catalog I mean the same shape is repeated on the page as many times as the item to be printed of course but we do also have item other kind of catalogs that we call how to sizeable that allows to print different shapes on the same page now we are selecting five rings for instance We are selecting some bracelets. Here it is. And a larger bracelet like this. So by clicking on print, the page is being composed and it's created by arranging different shapes on the same page, always keeping the one to one exercise. We can print this page, we can export this as HTML, um, RTF file, Word documents, and images of course, you can export it as a PDF or send directly any mail from here. This kind of page setting is very useful for sending offers to your customers and it's dynamically generated but we can even go to uh, change this page click on edit and we can arrange and move and add items on this page so we can work on the results as you can see and this is very useful because you can customize your page at your will So from a dynamic catalog we go into static so it's important that you save this report and to open it later on. In this session, we're going to show you how to create new page templates. Um, in this window, we can select the kind of, the, of templates we want to create. You can create four different kinds of templates, as well as columnar catalogs of same shape repeated on the page, columnar catalog with metal title summary, as well as the outer sizeable, so different shapes on the same page and fixed size, that means that the, 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 the shapes are automatically resized upon a mask. We click on next and what we got here, you can choose the paper size, the width, the, eight, the orientation, um, or vertical horizontal, the font, the size of the font and the alignment, left justify, uh, right justify or centered. Choose the mask you want to use for these templates. Now we are going to choose the um, 30 by 40 millimeters mask. It's the rings mask mask. Here it is. Okay. And we can choose the fields we want to print on the page. So uh, we choose, for instance, the model. Here it is. We choose the description. We choose the metal, the title, and the size. Um, in this case, we want to say that the model is going to be bold. The data position can be positioned uh, with respect to the image on the top, on the bottom, on the left, on the right. And the data width can be auto sized upon the mask or can be customized. You can define a specific page uh, data width depending on the value that we are going to put here 
and if you want to show the data on a single row and if you want to show the picture border okay you click on next and it's creating the page template for us so the company logo and information and all the columns and the rows that are automatically calculated upon the size of the mask and the data um, we can decrease the column size in order to make um, less items on the page we can increase the error rate in order to create some space between the first column and the first row and the, the, the other and even the row offset that allows you to space rows one from the other one we click next and we give the name to the page template here it is clicking on setup we get inside the, the, the setup for the window that allow you to choose the image path that can be a, a network shared folder of course for your own needs and here we have the field customization that means that you can choose the meaning of the, the detail fields in the item mask this allow you to customize upon your needs all the information and has to be done just on a first round clicking on company you can set up all the information about your company as well as logo and information thank you for staying with us